Hi and welcome to Gardening Tips on MarkCullen.com. I've said it many times before, I'll say it here, 90% of the success that you enjoy in your garden depends on good soil. Good soil preparation. And that of course begins by knowing exactly what your soil consists of. There's a wonderful little at-home soil test that requires nothing more than a glass jar and some water. Simply dig down about a foot and a half or 30, 40 centimeters, mix the soil up and use that, that mixture of soil to half fill a glass jar. Then top it off with water, shake it for five minutes and just let it sit overnight. In the morning, you'll see that the soil has settled into the bottom half of the jar, or I should say resettled into the bottom half of the jar, and you can read that and, exp and, and understand exactly what your soil consists of. The clay will, or rather the heavy soil, the loam, will fall to the bottom. The clay will fall to the middle portion, and the silt, that really fine organic matter, uh, will sit up on the top of the strata of soil. If you have lots of organic matter, lots of, and by that I mean finished compost and compost and manure that you've used in the soil, if you've got real rich soil, lots of that will often float up to the surface of the water. Now once you understand what your soil consists of, and by the way, mine consists of somewhere between 30 and 40 percent clay based on this test, then you know what to do to fix it, to make it right so that plants can grow and thrive in your garden. The number one ingredient I put in my vegetable garden to keep it producing really well year after year is sand. Because that clay needs to be opened up, I use good sharp sand. Sharp sand is sometimes called builder sand, brick sand, or play sand, same sand that you'd use in a, play, a sandbox. But it's not the sand from a beach, which is far too fine. I take this, I add it to the soil in generous quantities every spring, and I dig it in. If you want to understand what the pH of your soil is, then you would get yourself a soil test kit like this, follow the directions, and once you understand what the pH is and what the requirements of the plants in your garden are, then you can either lower or, lower or raise the pH depending on what you need to do. To lower the pH or make it more acidic, I use garden sulfur. Garden sulfur is terrific for things like rhododendrons and azaleas, many evergreens that favor an acidic type soil. Remember, you're not fertilizing the soil here, but you're changing the pH of the soil. You're changing the chemical uh, makeup of the soil. And if you want to raise the pH and make it more alkaline, then you would add dolomitic lime. It's really not as complicated as it sounds. Do the test. Take your test into a local garden center or a hardware store where somebody who has some experience with, uh, with this can explain exactly what your soil consists of and then act accordingly. You'll end up with a much better looking garden.